Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collective wax haul from Walmart. Um, I went last week and then I went again today and picked up a few more melts and I obviously have used some of the ones that I purchased last week so I can get a little bit of a review on those ones. Um, the first one that I picked up was this Glade Cashmere Woods. These are you get eight in the pack if you haven't seen these before and I am melting this one actually right now in this room and this room's fairly decent size but it's not huge it's a master bedroom and honestly I don't get much throw at all out of this which is really disappointing because I disappointing because I love the scent but it just it's not that strong it's not that strong on cold and it's definitely not a good throw. I probably won't repurchase these Glade ones. If there's another scent that I really like that seems a little bit stronger on cold then possibly I would give it another chance but I wasn't overly impressed with these and I think they are a little bit pricier than like the Better, Better Homes and Gardens ones so it wasn't a great first impression but we'll see. I might need to um, do two melts at a time. The next one that I got is from Febreze and this is another new company as far as um, melts goes for me. This one is in, sorry I'm making shadows here, is in Meadows and Rain and these are larger tarts as well and you get six in this pack. This scent, this is a softer wax. Um, it's a much different wax than like the Better Homes and Gardens ones and this is just a very fresh soft scent and I'm in soft not in like the throw it this these ones threw really well it's soft in the fact that or in the sense that I would feel totally comfortable and would definitely melt these when I have company over it's not an offensive scent to some people like I know a lot of people don't care for bakery or super perfumey or floral scents this one's just clean and mellow and I really like that I would definitely repurchase this one and I want to try some of the other ones from Febreze and then I got some better homes and gardens ones this one is tranquil garden spot and I've heard a lot about this one on YouTube and I have to say I wasn't impressed by the throw at all on this I used three cubes I used two in the uh, warmer in my living room and then one in the kitchen we have an open floor plan that's not huge we're in an apartment right now so I it should have thrown a lot better than it did it didn't throw very well at all um, I don't know the scent is really good and cold and I wish I could just smell it more I don't think I would repurchase this one this one I was kind of expecting to be like this the Febreze one and it wasn't like that at all the next one that I got is one of the dual scented wax um, cubes packages and this one's by the pool. It has one side, let's see if I can get this open, the top side, the blue side is Splash is the scent and it's just, it's almost like a melony scent. It's fresh, airy, clean and then the clear or white side is coconut which is a true a true coconut it's not like the syrupy sweet coconut like in a coconut drink or something like that like it's true coconut which is really nice and then you combine them together and it's just this really awesome scent this is like the perfect summer scent to me like I think of when I think of summer this is the scent that comes to mind so I'm excited to melt that one the next one that I got is zesty lemon peppercorn and I haven't heard this one talked about at all I purchased the matching candle to this one probably a month and a half ago and I melted it or I burned it in my kitchen literally almost every day like I just I burned it with every tart I melted and it seemed to go which is kind of strange but this one's just so nice um it's definitely the zesty lemon not a cleaner lemon but just a zesty lemon and then you kind of get like the not spice but you get that back note of the peppercorn I just I love this this one goes awesome with um, the herby scents like I would melt an herby scent in the warmer and then I would have this candle burning so that's definitely something that I will continue to keep doing it's really nice and that's zesty lemon peppercorn again the next one I got is warm rustic woods 
This one is a man scent, and I say that because my husband picked it out, and it's definitely a bit of a cologne -y scent. It's a sweet cologne scent, though, and then there's a note of cedar, and it's, it's really good. It's a sweet, super sweet scent, but not, like, sickening sweet, but it's a sweet, manly scent, a sweet cologne scent, and it's, it's really nice. We had this one going in the bedroom the other night, and we just used one cube. I probably would do two next time, but one was definitely enough. I just, I like strong scents. And that's Warm Rustic Woods again. Oh, not that you can see that. The next one is the Papagayo Beach. I, I think he, my husband must have picked this one because now that I smell it, it's not something I would have picked. And I know that sounds strange because so many people talk about this scent and... It is really fruity. I get the fruity scent to it, but there's a super strong, odd note to me. This is going to sound so bizarre, but it smells like fruity vegetable soup. Like, it just has this weird vegetable note to it, and it's... I don't care for it. I'm going to melt it and give it a try, but if I don't care for it, I'm probably just going to give it away because it's it's not it's not good on, on cold stuff to me, so we'll see how that goes. The next one we picked up was Calypso Sands, and this one says light floral, honeydew, and a on a fresh breeze, which is exactly it. There's The first thing you smell is the floral and the honeydew, and it's a true, like, authentic honeydew. And then you just get, like, the nice, like, clean linen scent that goes with it, the fresh scent. This one's really nice. I'm excited to melt this one. And this is kind of like the Febreze one. Like, it's one of those scents that I would melt when I had people over that don't care for overly strong or bakery or floral scents. This one's like the perfect one. The next one I got is probably one of my all-time favorites. This is Tea Time. I haven't seen this one before except for when I went last week. And I've melted almost all of this one, as you can see. And then I had to go and pick up another one today because, like I said, I haven't seen this one before. So I wasn't sure if it's something that the Walmarts near me are going to stock regularly. But this one is, it's so soothing. And to me, it's so relaxing. I've never smelled a tea scent before, so I guess I don't really know what to expect with tea. And you get this sweet thyme, but it's not overpowering. And it's just, it's so relaxing and nice. Like, this is the scent that I think of when I want to curl up with a, a book and, like, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. This is the scent. This is just so nice. So, if you haven't tried Tea Time, I would definitely recommend that one. That's awesome. And then the last one that we got is Coffee Cake Swirl. And this one I'm melting in my kitchen in my living room right now. And Cold Sniff you get the super sweet cinnamon and then you also get like a doughy bread scent more it reminds me more of like a cinnamon roll than a cake it doesn't taste smell like a cake scent so much to me and that's that that bakery note is super strong on cold but you kind of lose it when you warm it up which is a shame because i really like it so now it just smells like sweet cinnamon with a tiny bit of bakery in the background but that's okay it's really nice and I definitely will probably will will repurchase this one again it'd be a great fall scent to mix with like an apple scent or something like that so that is coffee cake swirl so those are the um, melts that I picked up in the last two weeks um, the ones that I haven't melted yet I will probably talk about in a weekly like what I've been melting kind of video so I'll give more of an update on those ones but thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video bye